Tonight is Ayin Adar. Tonight is the passing of Moshe Rabbeinu, the leader of the Jewish people. And what we can do on a day when a tzaddik passes away is we can connect to his essence, to his energy, to what he stood for, to what he what he did with his life, the imprint that he left on this world. And Moshe Rabbeinu, the leader of the Jewish people, the one that brought us from slavery into, onto, into becoming a nation, the chosen people. Moshe Rabbeinu, where he had physical limitations and emotional limitations, was able to surpass all of that. The energy of Moshe, amongst many of the different energies of the man that he was, but the one specifically that we're going to look at today is the energy of leadership. What he did was that it says that when the Jewish people were by the mountain, they saw a afel, which was a fog, which was like a dark a cloud in the sky. And it says that the Jewish people stood back. It was, it, was, it was scary. It was intimidating. And it says that Moshe Rabbeinu went straight into it. He went straight for it. You know, when a person, a leader, one of the qualities, qualities of a leader is that when you see a challenge and when you see something that is a little bit beyond you, outside of your comfort zone, something that you're not sure about, you never did before, but you know is going to perhaps liberate you or help you or push you to the next level or help you evolve to the next part of your being, to the next part of your journey, right? And the Moshe Rabbeinu inside of us, the leader inside of us is the one that sees the challenge, sees the difficulty, sees the nisayon, sees the, the, the hardship and jumps into it where normal people, humans, regular people with the limiting beliefs and the low self-esteem and the uncertainty and the lack of real faith in who they are and in their creator are the ones that are the ones that when they see a challenge and when they see something bigger than them or something that's going to require more effort on their part or more push on their part or coming away, you know, getting leaving a certain relationship or leaving a, a, an addiction behind or doing things that are productive and, and are going to take you to the next level, the part of us that is the leader part of us, the Moshe Rabbeinu part of us, is the one that's going to jump into the fire, jump into the challenge, jump into the difficulty, because we understand, and it says that Moshe Rabbeinu jumps into the Arafel, Kishama Elokim, because that's where God is. Where is God? Where is the Siat Dishmaya? Where is the help from above? Where is the breakthroughs in life? Where do they happen? They all happen on the other side of our comfort zone. They all happen where we're, we see that we see what's bigger than us, what, what's bigger than us, what we're afraid of, what we're uncertain of, or we don't necessarily trust that we have what it takes to actually do it and fulfill it and go for it. And we 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 jump into it. That is the Moshe Rabbeinu. We don't give in. We don't stand back. We don't say, wait, wait, I don't know, should I? Because when we do that, what happens is that Rabbi Nachman explains, those are minios. Minios are coming. What minios are, they're, you, you want to go out, you want to start a project, you want to put something out there, you want to develop something, you want to start a diet, you want to stop an addiction, you want to do something like that, and minios come into the picture. That's just the way it works. When you want to move forward, you have to be met with resistance because that's how you're going to actually develop the muscle within you. So the minios come and the reason that they come, Rabbi Nachman explains, is because what they do to a person is that they develop their cheshek, their desire for the thing even more so. If it's just like, you know, whatever I touch turns to gold, then after a while we would just vaishmani shuun vaivat. We would just be like, all right, yeah, obviously, whatever I touch turns to gold. Everything I do happens. But the fact that we try and we fail and we have manios and we keep going for it, the act of continuously going for it and not giving up, it's okay I fail and knowing how to fail also and not completely breaking all my vessels and not completely falling apart but saying, okay, this is part of growth. This is part of the process. The act of moving forward and backward and forward and backward, Rabbi Nachman explains that's the, where the cheshek is developed, the, the ratzon for it, the desire for it, the, 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 uh, another approach, another creative angle, another idea, another, that's what's developing there when that happens. So remember, remember tonight when you're lighting your candle for Moshe Rabbeinu, Zayn Adar, ask Hashem, to help the power of Moshe, where he saw the fight and he jumped in. He saw the fire and he jumped in. He saw the challenge and he jumped in for, for you to have that quality within you, for you to have that braveness within you, to know that there's no, we're not going to get anywhere in life. You're not going to really get anywhere in life by holding yourself back, by driving, you know, on neutral or with your, with your breakup, right? Taking a step, really, 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 scared of taking steps forward in your life and challenging yourself and jumping into the challenges of what you know is going to liberate you, of what you know is going to 
make you such a happier person. It's just the jumping into the fire, and that is what we should be mechaven tonight, amongst the many things that we can be mechaven, to have in mind that Hashem shall help me attach myself, get some of that energy, get some of that power, get some of it so I'm able to see the issue, see the problem, see the challenge, roll my sleeves and jump in and not run away. Have a great day.